Jeez, brush and nasty. watching a Russell Brand movie. in there so that I can keep ice packs cool for my nose. This is how we're gonna do day six road tripping post nose job. We got ice on demand. How cool is that? And oh, oh we can also put our drinks in there. Did you get those drinks? Cold pizza on Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new way. So I want to talk about my nose job, and I should I shouldn't even call it a nose job because, like I said earlier, it wasn't about cosmetics so much. Um, although I think there will be like a little bit of a cosmetic return. What if harm came your way? Terrible, terrible, terrible harm. Hmm? Shield time. Bring me my pills. So it just got so bad to the point where I was like using nasal spray to be able to breathe at all. Well, due to other stuff, here's here's kind of the, the rundown. Due to sleep deprivation from work, really bad calls, and then issues that I've been having at work, I started having panic attacks and anxiety attacks. And they got so bad and the sleep deprivation got so bad that if I couldn't breathe, I couldn't tolerate my nose anymore. I had been tolerating it okay, but I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I couldn't tolerate the feeling of not being able to breathe. It would set me off. It would shoot me into a panic attack. And so I started using nasal spray and nasal spray, it's just a, it just makes it worse in the long run. And so in the past six months, I'm sure you guys probably I'm sure you could probably feel it in the videos, just not um, doing well. Try to keep a positive attitude, try to keep going with the videos, try to keep um, cranking them out. But uh, 
just had a rough go at it for a bit. Um, basically since that Arizona trip, I got sick in Arizona. That head cold that we got from that water never went away. I've been sick since then. Uh, so, um, and that's part of this is you just, my sinuses don't work right. It takes the tiniest little bit of infection and then you're just sick. And, and uh, it's really impossible to get it out of there. So this is, this is gonna do good. I'm hoping I can get back to my old self soon. So, might be a little break in videos for a bit, guys. Um, I'm sorry if the videos have changed. I'm sorry if I've changed. This whole life is, uh, this whole YouTube thing, it's been a journey, man. Um, it's been hard. It's been good, but it's been hard. It's tough. Nobody gives you an instruction manual on it. I just want to get back to being myself. So, thank you guys for all your support. Uh, love you guys. You guys have made so many things possible for me and my family. And um, I'll see you on the other side. So they did something called a septoplasty, which is uh, where they remove a whole bunch of cartilage in my nose and straighten it out so that I can breathe. There was no room in my nose to even breathe normally. The surgery was quite painful and having the stents removed felt so amazing. It was like the first real breath. Ah. <laughs> There's number one. Ooh, wow. That's called a Doyle splint. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. It's always a lot bigger than people expect. That first breath, though, that yeah. feels amazing. All right. Other way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. Here's the second one. Oh. Jeez, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, peace on it. Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for a new Okay, way. guys, you guys ready to load up? We're gonna go buy a new truck today. I think I like it. A black truck, that's right. So let's go, buddy. What you got Oh, praise the Lord. Where have you been? Medicine, yeah, dude, dad's face is killing him. Oh. Okay, we ready? We're ready. Everybody's ready? Yes. All righty. Me. So today we're gonna go look at a 1964 Ford F600 dump truck uh, to help us do uh, little odd jobs around the farm. And this thing has been a working truck for a guy who owns a roofing company and uh, it seems to be in operating condition and it's only, well, it's only 2,700 bucks. So we gotta go to the bank. I'm gonna grab some breakfast for everybody and then we'll uh, we'll head all over there, see what, see what there is to see. Wow, look at that thing. Ew, what a beast. Solid. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing's rad. It's huge. Hey, how you doing? Good. Brake. Key. Starts right up. Holy shit, boys! Get my safety seatbelt. <laughs> oh, okay. We're moving. We're moving. Oh yeah! There it is. No horn. Bye. It's my dump truck. <laughs> This thing's so cool! Oh, oh, grind, grind, grind. Hey there, just dropping my dump truck. Oh, baby! Reverse. My bad. Oh no, that wasn't reverse. 
So I'm following Dez behind the Raptor. Uh, she's, we're going to the hardware store. The flat link towing setup didn't work because the D-rings are too fat. Um, so we're gonna have to drill and put the, the clamps on, which honestly will reduce the amount of rattling and noise. And then it'll basically be as good as the uh, manufacturer intended. I hope that you guys like our new 1960, well new to us, 1964 Ford F600 dump truck. I really enjoy driving it. It definitely needs some love. I want to do new bedsides for it. Kind of clean it up and kind of figure out why it rattles so much, aside from the fact that it's so old. But it's going to be really, really useful for the property, the farm and venue stuff that we're working on. This past six months, we've kind of determined that we're all over the place and we've heard it from you. We know that we're all over the place. Last month or a month or two ago, we talked about starting a channel called Maxidents and what that was going to be was uh, just a different style video, a little more artsy, kind of more off-road centric. Desiree was doing the farm channel. Desiree really likes making YouTube videos, but she doesn't like holding the camera out and talking. And, and I get that. It takes years of practice to get used to that. She does enjoy editing. In fact, she edited this video. And I wasn't really sure what was going to go on in this video. That real sad part in the middle, uh, I don't remember filming that at all. Um, she found that and she's super adamant that we put that in there. It is super real. Uh, and that is something that I've been dealing with. Oh, look, a beautiful hawk. My spirit animal. Is that you, Carol? I personally didn't want to drop all of that on you because I don't ever want to bring anyone's mood down, but Desiree is super adamant that we put it in there. It's real life and uh, that is sort of what we have been trying to get through. And um, as a result, the channel has been um, sloppier than I'd like it to be. I've always wanted to have a channel called Don't Forget to Live. Um, rather than disrupt the flow of this current and successful channel, uh, I'm not going to change the name just yet, but we are going to change the name of Desiree's channel to Don't Forget to Live. And all of the lifestyle content, very similar to what you guys just watched, like the dump truck, that sort of stuff. Projects around the property, uh, building our bridge, working on the skid steer, going boating. That's all going to be on our lifestyle channel. You can think of our the Don't Forget to Live channel as sort of like the vlog and the Max Pal channel to sort of be like the adventure and outdoor content. We're gonna become more committed to delivering content that we know you guys are here for. We know that you signed up for, we know that you love. We know you love the Tacoma. We got lots of cool Tacoma projects coming. We know you love overland camping and that sort of stuff. That does not mean that you won't see paramotor flying anymore. It's just, it'll be involved with off-road and we wanna just sort of hone in the brand a little bit. If you like the wild and crazy all over the place, please subscribe to um, our second channel, our lifestyle channel, our vlog channel, Don't Forget to Live, uh, because that channel is going to be just as awesome as this channel. It's going to be a very similar style. Des and I are sharing the workload of editing with this procedure and the new decisions and the new perspectives on things going forward in regards to life and work and business and plans. Yeah, hope that you look forward to the upcoming content uh, because we're just gonna go after it um, harder than ever. And uh, yeah, you guys are gonna love it. Cool, tell your friends, tell your brother and your sister and your mother. And um, yeah, hope that, hope that you guys are looking forward to uh, the new upcoming changes uh, and are ex as excited about it as we are because it's gonna be great. Um, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Bye.